Chale, welcome back to Ghana, the gateway to Africa. Today I'm super excited. I'm showing you the life of a 20 something year old here in Ghana. Oh my goodness. Stay tuned in. I'm taking you to the biggest market in Ghana and what is probably the biggest market in West Africa. But is it really? Because the last time I went to this crazy, crazy market in Nigeria and apparently it's the biggest. What do you think? Drop a comment. Let me know which is the biggest market. Anyway, today, hey, today we are going to shop for kente you already know that when it comes to this african print ghana is number one chale hey so we have in kenya we have kitenge in nigeria we have ankara but in ghana hmm, we have kente so come with me i'm showing you where to shop for the best kente in west africa stay tuned in because this video is gonna be good <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for clicking. Oh god, I should have said Aquaba. Aquaba back to my channel. Uh, so you guys already know I am in Ghana. I am in Accra. I feel so good to be here. So today I am going out with my friend. Yay! We meet again. I told you guys she's coming. I told you. The last time we were together in Kenya, if you guys remember, it was so much fun looking up in Kenya. To have a good day with it. How did you find Kenya? Zero, one to ten. How would? You? Oh, okay, okay. So I lost my phone while in Kenya. Yeah. Apart from that, I give Kenya a seven. Oh, wow. Ten. Yes. Thank you. She she maintains such a positive attitude all through. I don't know. For me, I feel like if I lost my phone, oh my gosh, my mood would be so spoiled. But she was, she was smiling. She was happy. So anyway, guys, today. Hmm, hmm. We have a long day yeah. and we've started at one, so the day is already half. Oh, I'm so hungry, we're going to find somewhere to eat fried rice. Oh, you guys already know in Ghana they have very different food from Kenya. The only thing they can relate to is rice. I love the jollof rice and I love the fried rice. Things like fufu, they're okay, but for me, nah. Okay. It's still, I don't, I don't mind trying, but I'm not a fan of maybe the more I take it, the more I will enjoy. You know, quite tastes. Yeah. And then after that, you're supposed to go to the market. I want to find some Ghana material. I'm supposed to take it to someone at home, and also I want to make a few clothes. And then, oh, go shop for some food. Fix your hair. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to fix my hair. Yes, she's going to have the taste of Ghana braids for the first time. Oh. I'm so excited because I don't know how it's going to look on you. I can't wait. What to style see. do you think I should put? Um, okay, when we get there. When you get there, we'll decide. <laughs> so come with us. Spend the day with us. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. I want the most Ghanaian style. What is the most Ghanaian style I can get? Okay. Do you want coro? Um, you see, like the lines you did on your hair, but yeah. this time they're going to be very tiny. Mm -hmm. I'm um, anything African, African, I'm good, yeah. At least when you go back to Kenya or wherever you are going to, I don't I'll know. I'm telling everyone I made my hair in Ghana. Yes, yeah. so you made your hair, they will put some beads in it. Something, something stylish. That'll be dope, man. Yeah. That'll be I've dope. seen you, you've done the pink, you've done the regular braids. Uh -huh. Maybe we we'll do something different. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down for different. Yay. This place is so beautiful. I don't think I've ever been here. ANC Mall. ANC Mall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here, yeah, when you come and do in the weekends, you see all these luxury cars. Really? Like, yeah, they come and park their cars here. Is it the biggest mall in Ghana? No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's one of the small malls. The biggest mall is Accra. It's Accra Mall. No, I think West Ham Mall is bigger. Do they have KFC? KFC. Yeah, I guess. Oh, guys, you say, oh, you should, you should, you should take Ghana let's food. Go, let's go. Let's go. Guys, we like you should try. Guys, we always eat Ghana food. Let's go. Oh, ah, then that's simple because we won't keep long. KFC is always ready. Oh, okay. So we are going to Accra. It's very crazy. In Kenya, we don't have coconut crusher. Wow, and it's so tasty. Where, where, where was the first time you tasted it? In Ghana, Accra, In Ghana. like oh, a week ago. I've never had it too. Oh, you love I always it. I have the strawberry. Oh, me too. I always have that in Kenya. When I came here, I had cocoa. I was like, what? Cocoa? What? Okay, put it. And I loved it. People have been jealous in it. 
Guys, guys, she's wearing the Maasai sandal she got in Kenya. Oh, and, and, and a lot of people have asked me, where did you get your slippers? Where did you get? So I'm coming back to Kenya to get this for them. Oh, but they look so cute. My mom loves the one I go for. Oh, here. really? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that makes me proud to be Kenyan. Guys, you're finally at the mall. A few moments later. Finally, guys, we got some food. So this, uh, this is our matzo. Ma Matatus. Yeah, this is called Trotro. Have you sat in one? Yes, I have, I have. No, okay. It's called Trotro. Hi, Chili. Hi. I have this for you. Oh, gosh. So sorry. Hi, guys. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys. My name is Laurie Lawson, and I do travel and lifestyle, so I'm hoping to Thank see you guys on my channel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, to Miss Trudy. Right and we should enjoy your new crown blouse accessories from shop norel keep up with the good work on youtube oh thank you here they are yeah that's so cute Irene. and this way oh that is nice yeah that's nice that's a ghana yeah representing your country oh. home. africa oh my god this is perfect thank you so much Guys, if you wanna order, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. What is this place? It's um, it's it's a gift from the Turkish government to Ghana. What? It's one of the, the inside is very big. Really? It's right a mosque. It's a mosque here. Yeah. So the Turkish government and Ghana have such a good relationship. Yeah, now because of the mosque. Oh wow! Yeah. Looks so good from outside. Yeah. Wow, incredible! What do you guys think? So but what did the gov Ghana government do to get deserve this gift? I don't. I sincerely don't know, and I don't know the arrangement because um, I know Turkish people will not give things for free. <laughs> oh yeah, probably yeah, a deal so or I'm something. Sure there was a deal. Yeah. Oh, wow. Guys, did you know that? Drop a comment. Later. Finally, we are in Makola Market. Is that is that the way it's pronounced? Yes, Makola Market. One of the biggest markets market in, in West Africa. It's also a hub for wholesalers. So if you have people who want to buy and um, stuff in wholesale, they always come. When they say I'm going to Accra, I'm going to Accra. This is where they mean by Accra. Mm. They are coming to the main markets to buy everything. So here they sell everything. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna give you a taste of this place when you go down. When you come here on, on weekends, here is choked. So usually what some of us do is we park our car in town uh -huh. and walk or pick like um, it's a, a chocho. Chocho is this, this type of cars. Uh -huh. Matatu. Yeah, matatu here. Then because, is it far from town? No, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not. It depends on where you're coming from. It can be, but from main Accra, let's say from Accra Mall to Makola Market is like 30 minutes drive. What? Yeah. 30? 30, yeah. Oh wow, then walking is far. No, 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 from town. Oh, from town, it's just about 10 minutes. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. What? Oh my goodness, this is so many people. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, what happened? An it got, it accident? It got burned. It got burned. Like um, last month. Oh, wow. When I was in Kenya, then I, I heard the news that it was burning. Oh! I say, see why it's the busiest market in Ghana. Hey! Anyway, let's go down. Oh, something I've been told here in Ghana, unlike Kenya, you don't get arrested for not wearing your mask. It's up to you. Exactly. Then I think Ghanaians are very disciplined. Yes. Because like almost everyone is wearing a In Kenya, people don't want to wear a mask. People are being arrested. In, in, initially, they were arresting people. No, they will not arrest you, they will beat you. Oh. Or they will ask you to clean the gutters. Initially, when COVID came, but now, I mean, you even see a policeman standing there, you won't say anything. Wow. Yeah. And you guys also don't have coffee? We don't, we don't have coffee. Wow. In Kenya, we still have coffee. Even tonight, you are going, I'm taking here tonight, so you will see, we don't have coffee. Thank God. You are enjoying. Someone left a comment in my video and said, Trudy, how does it feel like I'm walking around at night? Because in Kenya, we forgot it. Guys, 
look at all these designs we've come across oh there's so many designs oh this is so nice you guys like it do you think i should take this oh there's so many now i'm confused oh my god you guys oh this is what i came for um yes can i try this one this red this one hmm i don't like this as much yeah i prefer this red but I think I love red. No. This one is red. This one is pink. There's so many. I'm confused. I don't know. Um, because I wanted you to have an African taste, you can take this. You can have this too. Yeah. One is 12, 12 CDs a yard. 12 CDs a yard. One is 12 CDs a yard. Yeah. So how many yards is this one? This is six yards. 120 shillings. Yeah, That's for so one. Cheap. Yeah. I think I can even take three in that case. I'm definitely taking this red one. So this is six yards and it goes for about 1,200 Kenyan shillings. Which is about 70 Ghana cities. Yes. So I'm gonna take this. Now I just have to find another type. I wanna, you know, dress in African attire. You guys, you get what I'm trying to say? So yeah, I'm also supposed to take the salmon. Okay. You want some other one? Okay. What is your name and what's your shop name? Hey. <laughs> Naomi's enterprise. Too. Okay, so whenever you come to Accra, yeah. look for her. Guys, do you think I should start a business of buying fabric in Ghana and selling in Kenya? Would you buy? Drop a comment. If you say yes, I'm gonna start this business. So I'm not joking. No, say yes. No. <laughs> they are still using these papers you know in kenya you don't use this yeah, yeah. so kenya is quite ahead on it oh she has given us a special one oh, thank you so much so is your government discussing on how to get rid of these black yes. paper bags plastic we, we bags hope, or we hope they, they, they act fast like also, it's should. a discussion that's going on. Yes. Oh, interesting. Where <laughs> <laughs> we go now? <laughs> Guys, so this is what Ghana money looks like. It's called Ghana City. Yes? Ghana City, yes. And uh, who is on your money? Here they are called the Big Six. The Big Six, yes. These are the uh, the pioneers of our country. This is Kwame Nkrumah, one of our presidents. In fact, they are all they've all been presidents. But um, Nkrumah, Kwame Nkrumah was the first um, president in Ghana. Thank you. Yeah. Very colorful cash. Yeah. Uh, Nazi. Nazi, yeah. When I went to Mombasa, I had this and it was really nice. This is a very healthy option. Thank you. I didn't even know I was this thirsty. Oh my god. I'm so thirsty. Everyone is watching you. <laughs> from behind. Oh my god, do I look new? Do I look like I'm not from here? <laughs> it's because um, I'm holding the camera so everyone is like. My run is one Yeah. Woo! That was refreshing. That was so refreshing. Medate. I don't drink it with a straw. Don't you straw? <laughs> wow. I heard that if the coconut water goes to your clothes, it won't come out. Is it true? <laughs> Yes, the skin. Are you not scared? Not the water, the skin. This part of the coconut. It's a colorful dress, not a white dress. It's not as bright as yours, so I mean, I'm fine. Yours is even a jeans, you'll be good. It, it, it will give a different pattern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so usually it gets very busy during the weekend. You mean this is not busy? No, this is not busy. This is like, it's because it's a weekday. Wow. Weekend. My dear, you can't even be here. Like it's so crowded, everybody is just pushing you. So when you come here, you have to be very careful with your items. You just have to hold them well, just to be on the safer side. And if you have a handbag, you put it in front, just as you have. Just yeah, like me. That's why you need a bag like this. Like this, yeah, a funny pack. And, and thank God I came here today. Yeah. Thank God, guys. So we're done with drinking the sweet coconut water. Now he's peeling the inside part for us to eat. This, oh, this is so good, and I'm very sure it's healthy. What are the health benefits for this? Drop a comment. I have some very wise people on my channel, I think they are doctors or something. Is it does it have fiber? <laughs> Someone drop a comment. Oh, 
So the coconut water is how much? Two cities, 50 pesos. So oh, okay. the two of us is five cities. And it's um, 90 Kenyan shillings. 90 Kenyan shillings. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Guys, so Stella Chanel is helping me pick out the perfect plantain. Because I want to go and make some plantain in the house. First time ever buying plantain. Do you know the difference between plantain and banana? Drop a comment. This is no banana, guys. This is plantain. I can't wait to fry this thing. They are so tasty. And lemon. Oh, we love lemon and honey. Lemon yes, and water. Can we see this? Oh, shopping in a Ghana market. Oh, and then of course you can't miss Pepe in Ghana market, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carrots. This. What food are you going to prepare? I want to make some plantain and um, rice and chicken i don't know how to make these other things like banku fufu i don't know <laughs> I'll what i'll teach you i'll teach you so guys let me know where do you go to shop for your food items and your clothes which market whichever country you're from in kenya i go to kikomba i won't even lie in ghana we have come to makola market in nigeria where do you go in namibia where do you go you know uganda drop a comment tanzania you know let's have a conversation you know markets are places that i feel we can't live without you know and we have people working very hard to just make sure we have what we need so let's have a conversation in the comment section oh, i prefer this this is so cute stella um this is the kente this is what you call kente what are this? Because Maya has so many of such this. It's called what? Matakari. It's in the north. It's like very common in the northern part of Ghana. Yeah. So if you're marrying a northern man, you'll find him wearing things oh, like these this. things, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Maya has them and he loves them. I mean, it's, it's a, how much is this? We have original. How much is original? This one's a 600. 600 CDs. And that's a lot of, a lot of money. 600 CDs is a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. $100? Oh, yeah, yeah. What? $100 for this one? That's expensive. But I mean, it's, the fabric is very good. And yeah, it's, it's very it's, thick. It's, it's hand woven, so oh. it takes a lot of days to prepare one fab, one um, cloth. That's why it's expensive. It requires oh, wow. a lot of strength. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So this the Maya has like five. That's $500. Yeah. He's rich. Like rich. Buy, He's rich. sell them and, you know, get some money. <laughs> Okay, so we'll take the other one. Guys, this is the Ghana School of Law, apparently. So you're saying if you want to become a lawyer in Ghana, this is where you come? After university, you come and, um, you come and continue school here for, I think, three or four years, I'm not too sure, before you can be called, be called a certified lawyer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's why lawyers take a long time. Hmm. Hey, guys. Good morning. This is day two. I'm Mr. Lashani. We are going to make my hair. So. Ghana braids. Ghana braids. Pretty. I can't wait. <laughs> the Ghana way. You know when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. So, well, I'm going to show you the after. This is the before. Anyway, by the way, if you don't know Stella Chanel, she's a Ghanaian YouTuber. <laughs> Stella Chanel on YouTube. Come join. The, we are back again, family. We are back See? again, Chalega. <laughs> Touch her and subscribe to her channel. She's been so good to me when I'm in Ghana. I'm I trying mean, to convince no, no, her. No, 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 no. You were also good to me oh. when I was in Kenya. Oh. And that's, that's why you should be good to each other. Because you see, yeah. I feel so good. <laughs> the fact that I'm moving around with you in Ghana. Thank you so much. Right. You're so always welcome. This is to your subscribers. Oh. Because they love you. Oh. I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm trying to convince her to miss work today and spend the day with me. It's a little bit cheeky but i'm still hoping that somehow i'll be able to convince <laughs> is that am i being a bad person let's hope <laughs> let's hope i could get to convince guys so we are finally here i've been told this market is called madina madina market yes so if someone wants to make their hair in ghana you recommend this place it's a local joint it's not expensive they do they know what they are doing and that's where i braid my hair okay so, uh, i know I'm leaving you in good hands. Oh, okay. So because of this stubborn matatu drivers, we have to wait. So you mean they're also stubborn here in Ghana? Very I thought it's a, just a Kenyan thing. They are very, very stubborn. In fact, when you are driving, you just have to look out for them because they stop anywhere, anyhow, anytime. Oh, wow. Care. The road belongs to them. So this is everywhere in Africa. I thought it's just Kenya. And just the taking passenger, look at one. 
A few moments later. Guys, so now they're washing my hair. Um, One thing that is different from Kenyan and Ghanaian salons is usually they use cold water in Ghana. They think the second time I'm going to a Ghana salon, they use cold water. <laughs> in Kenya, they use hot water, but then the cold water is so refreshing. A few moments later. Okay, so this is my final look. Oh, this is how I'm looking after. Do you guys like the look? Oh my god, I think I look so good. What do you guys think? So, um, that's how I look from hand to toe.